Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is very much important stage for uh, achieving your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available in the lead code platform. Okay, all my code uh, code solutions for the all the questions which are asked in lead code platform I have kept everything in my github repository the link for that is will be uh, will be available in the chat description below in addition to that all the solutions which I have posted in my youtube I have segregated into five playlists namely easy medium hard and the only premium questions which are the behind the paywall in lead code I have placed in premium things and all the question all the 230 questions I have ordered by id descending let's see the question which we are trying to solve today it is of question number 1511 customer orders frequency movie stream last month okay okay they have given three tables customers table customer id name country okay customer id is the primary key for this table this table contains about the customer in the company okay and the respective product id is product id description price okay and the orders okay and the orders if the customer has made any order we can see in the customer id in this order table if he has brought some product the details of the product can be seen in the product table using product id okay order id is the primary key for this table this table contains customer orders okay as we mentioned it is, will be in the order what they want is write an sql query to report the customer id and customer names so they want you to return these two columns customer id and customer name which are available in this customer table who have spent at least okay these two customers should spend at least hundred dollars in the month of june and july they want only for june and july 2020 and each month they should be spending greater than hundred okay let's see the tables which they are given let's see the output table now what we need to do is we need to join these three tables see if you see this table is connected to this table using uh, one minute I will move this yeah customer ID and customer ID and this product table is content uh, connected to orders table using product id and product id okay let's see uh, they are asked for first condition what is that they should be from june 2020 and july 2020 only first let's filter for that june 2020 yeah july 2020 july 2020 june 20 july means seventh month june means sixth month yeah except this thing everything is from june and july only okay and what is the second condition they said in for each month there should be 100 rupees they should be spending okay let's see the customer one how much they spend okay customer one okay uh, where they have ordered it here one okay first three are customer one only right what is these things which they ordered 100 into quantity one sorry 10 into quantity one right what is the product quantity 10 price is 30 300 so 1 into 300 okay they buy rupees 300 in sixth month okay and uh, okay and let's see for the second uh, okay only first yeah customer id 1 in this table in the second row for the order id 2 again product id 20 has buy what is the product id 20 lc 10 rupees okay this is of 1 into 20 because quantity into price will be the total purchase you will be doing okay 
1 into 20 again 20 rupees ok again Winston third column how much is bride uh, 30 product ID what is the 30 product ID here 45 ok what is 45 here yeah 45 into 2 90 ok these are the things which are brought by uh, customer 1 let's see for the customer 2 customer 2 is here and here here ok see. what is the customer 2 by it here product 10 into 2 product 10 into 2 is 600 rupees ok again what is this uh, product 40 2 rupees 2 into 10 ok 20 rupees he has buy it something ok similarly for the customer 3 Customer 3 also ordered two things. These two things he buyed. First one is product 20. What is product 20 value? 10. 10 into 2. 40. Again, what he buyed? Product 30. What is product 30 value? 45. 45 into 2. 90. Okay. We have combined these tables. We have only filtered for what? 6th and 7th month and we calculated the sums. What is the fourth condition they said? Each customer, let's say that first customer in 6th and 7th, second customer in 6th and 7th. In each month, they should be buying more than 100 rupees, 100 dollars here. Let's see how many of them they buy it. See, if you see these two things are 7th month, this thing is 7th sixth month okay so customer one in the sixth month has brought for rupees what 300 okay greater than 100 satisfied okay customer one for the month seven has brought what 20 plus 90 110 rupees means 110 dollars greater than okay satisfied second customer let's see for the sixth month he has brought 600 rupees okay greater than 100 for the seventh month he has brought only 20 rupees not satisfied third customer how much yeah uh, sixth month only 40 rupees sixth month only 130 rupees so greater than 100 yeah third customer for seventh month he didn't brought anything zero if you see what they asked the customer should be buying from sixth month and seventh month only and from each month it should be greater than 100 we have filtered for 6, 7 and we have filtered. We can see that only first customer has brought from the first to the 6th and 7th month greater than 100. Here you can see only 6, 6 they have brought. So only first customer is satisfying. Now what they asked in the columns, they want customer ID in name. What is the customer ID in name for uh, this customer ID one? One Winston. That is why they have written this one. Okay let's code this one okay first of all let's join these t tables from orders table order a inner join you can join in any order because it is inner join only customers b on a dot customer id equal to b dot customer id okay and we need to inner join one more table what is that product let's call it c on how can we join this product and if you see customer and this table is connected using customer id product table is connected to order using product id okay on a dot product id equal to c dot product id okay we have joined the tables now what we want we want only for 2020 year and month should be either 6 or 7 so where month of order date equal to 6 or month of order date equal to 7 okay this is first condition 
the second condition is year should be 2020 okay we have combined this all the tables with their respective uh, columns after that we fil filtered only for what june and july only now what we will do is for each month we will be segregating them into uh, what is the things they have brought there okay now group by month okay uh, what are the okay customer name and everything also we should be keeping what is that customer id if you see first we filtered it after that by customer id and name we need to calculate this sum of things with respect to each month so group by customer id comma name comma we need to group by month of so it will be grouping for let's say one winston six one winston seven two jonathan six two jonathan seven three most of us six three most of us seven month of order date okay we have ordered them now what we want select uh, customer name sorry customer id name comma for each month let's calculate what sum of price into quantity okay now we will be getting what we will be joining this all these tables after that we are grouped by this customer id and name and month so one winston 300 will give the answer for one thing one winston this 20 plus 90 110 as one thing okay now what we want uh, okay now it should be having what everything should be greater than 100 sum of great things should be greater than or equal to 100 okay now we have filtered everything we have got it now we need to compare whether it is there in every month or not what we will do is we will keep this in everything in a subquery we will again group by customer id and name okay let's see what you have done is we have created this table after that we have filtered for what greater than 100 only then here how many rows will be there two here one here one now what we will do is we will check how many count of rows are there okay if the count of rows is two then that is the uh, thing which is required if it is not then that is not thing which is required now what i will do is select uh, from let's keep this everything in a subquery keep thing out and call it as some table one okay now what we need to do is now let's group by this customer id and name and let's select this customer id and name see what we are doing is after this table we are grouping by customer id and name and we are checking count of them is equal to 2 or not let's see having count of them equal to 2 okay let's run it okay quantity spelling wrong yeah mm. again quantity somewhere spelling yeah okay we need to mention in which table and which table i will keep it like this this 
this is from which table we are selecting t1 t1 dot there are many tables right that's why we should be keeping like this everything this is also from t1 now let's say a dot customer id I think it is there in which table customer table. Yeah, customer is in B table. B dot customer ID. B dot name. Let's keep T one dot customer ID. Ambiguous column name customer ID. Where they have used customer ID, customer ID. E dot customer id customer id on 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 where everything group by customer id yeah group by a dot uh, sorry c dot customer id c dot name yes uh, everything else price and quantity everything is unique i think it should work let's keep here also t1 dot name Invalid column name customer ID. Okay, let's give some alias name then as uh, ID. B name. Okay, let's it use it here. ID. Uh, ID B name invalid column name customer ID just let me see let's see the column names C U S T O M E R C O S T U M E R yeah spelling is right Okay, we are grouped by C dot customer ID. It should be C. Not C. It should be by. If you see customer ID is B, so everywhere it should be B only. That is the mistake. B. B. Yeah. It should work now. Invalid column name name uh, What is the customer's table name order C A customers B yeah Product ID product ID customer ID customer ID month of order date equal to month or year of order date equal to 2020 group by B dot customer ID B dot name as month of order ID okay having some into quantity greater than 100 okay select B dot customer ID B dot name B name uh, why is getting executed let me see okay I think it should be T1 here Okay, we are given some alias name as B name, right? Yeah, yeah, that is why it's not coming. Mm. Let's get some alias name. Let's see what is that. Wrong answer for case one. Okay, we should give some alias name as name only. 
ID as customer ID. Okay, customer. Okay, finally it accepted. Yes, we are done. I will explain you what, what we have done once again. Let's see, we have joined these three tables. If you see, using the common table in orders and customer size, customer ID, and orders as product as product ID. Okay, after that, they have given one condition. What is that? It should be from 2026 or 2027, respectively, June and July. Okay, we have filtered this table after joining. Now, what we do is per customer name and month. We need to calculate how much purchase they have done with with respect to customer name and everything grouping you calculate the sum of things per month this is what you have done here until now okay now what we have done is we want only sum of price greater than 100 so let's say it is 300 greater than 100 then 110 there this one there this one not there this one there so this one not there this one not there Okay, combined 130, right? This one is also there. So now only which are satisfying will be there. But we want for what? Sixth month and seventh month, which should be there. So what we have done is again I grouped by t1.id and t dot dot name. If, if it is greater than 100, then the two months, two rows should be there, right? That is why I have counted, I have kept the computation having count of all equal to two. So now the system has accepted our methodology yeah thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanation in depth like this please subscribe to my channel it will motivate me a lot and share it with your study partners and uh, classmates try to be as disciplined as possible complete all the videos which are there in my playlist it will be a very boost for you and try to achieve your dream as fast as possible just don't give up